Good afternoon, Geneva. It's John Alley here with everything you need to know for spring break 2024. All right, so first off, we got the weather forecast for Geneva. Now it's looking a little rough, especially at the beginning of next week. Now, don't worry though, because I got some sources and connections at Fox 8. They're letting me know we could be looking at some beautiful days around the 29th and 30th. Now, obviously, as you can see on the radar, it looks a little rough, 40s, 50s, but I, just trust me, I think we're gonna have some great days. So if you plan on staying here, there's some fun things you could do. Now, we're looking at key destinations. These are pretty basic. Now we're looking at like Disney, the beach. All right, basic stuff, commendable. You can do that. Now, these are the top eight places to visit for spring break, according to my, some of my friends over at Yahoo News. Now, I've worked with them a little bit. They got some of my insight. These are partially me too. Now at eight, we got Miami, which some of, you, some of my sources on TikTok, they kind of been saying that you might not be able to do much there this year, so it might not be a go-to. But I mean, if you want, you can go. And now at seven, I got the Pacific Coast Highway, which is on the West Coast. That is where you drive on the highway. So, but I mean, to be honest, if your idea for spring break was to go out to the West Coast and drive, maybe you shouldn't plan vacations anymore. That's just me though. Now at number six, we got Paris. Now this is a really hot commodity in the economy recently. Many people have talked to me about going over there. Trust, if you go, go with a friend. I heard Paris people are mean, but just, just know that, all right? Now at number five, we got Lake Louise, Alberta. This is in Canada. It is beautiful up there. Very beautiful lakes. You can see in the picture right here, very beautiful. Now just bring some mosquito repellent. I heard it's very bad up there. Now at four, we got Charleston, South Carolina. Now this, this is one of those expensive towns. So if you go there, just be careful, have your wallets ready. Now, one of my insiders who lives in that town, he's a fellow, fellow economy friend, you know, he says uh, the local McDonald's, they're expensive. We're talking $5 for a Big Mac. Expensive, I know. Next, we got number number three, we got the Bermuda, which it's kind of, it's down south. I'd watch out for triangles. That's all you need to know. Number two, we got Hawaii, a beautiful area crazy expensive just you gotta know that right now talk to your parents if you're going out there because obviously you probably don't got the money for it but if you go just be careful the hotel prices i know a few hotel owners over there they're crazy crazy expensive now number one we got cancun very beautiful very nice a lot of rich people like to go there some middle people like to go there also dangerous watch your wallets there very bad crime now this is a, the most important slide. This is the don'ts of spring break. Everyone should know these are the don'ts, all right? Now, the don'ts are anything bad. Every teacher in the school wants you to be safe. We need to get through the spring break so we can finish the school year off. Now have fun, that's also very important. Have fun so we can finish that school year off. Now here are your announcements. Good afternoon, Geneva. Yearbooks can be purchased online at jostensyearbooks.com through May 3rd. Please check the lost and found. All items left behind will be donated to Rachel's Closet or disposed of over spring break. The Geneva Public Library needs volunteers to help out with the Glimpse of the Eclipse event from noon to 4 on April 8th. Please stop by the library to sign up for a time slot. Have a great spring break, Geneva.